The sun is all around. Thank you, Jesus, for the sun. Good morning, y'all. It's your girl, Princess, with the Truth Hills Hurt video. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I done figured out. I should have been figured out. I think my grandmama or somebody told me. Uh, this, my mama, somebody told me. Let me tell you. It's a lot of people out here today. You you decided to get in somebody else's business. What we're going to do for Christmas this year is we're going to give people their business back. How about that? We're going to go ahead and give them their business back. But guess what I done figured out? I done figured out that the reason why a lot of people are in other people's business is because they don't want to tend to theirs. Because there's some messed up stuff over there in theirs. It's all good. You know, we all have our sets of uh, drama, um, dreams shattered. We have, good morning, Deacon Addy. Uh, we have, you know, a lot of stuff going on in our own world. But guess what? It's some unattended business, uh-huh, at your house while you over in somebody else's house. And so I done said this several different ways, but now I done figured out something. So there's a situation, and most of the time, um, y'all be thinking I just be making up stuff. This is real stuff. This is really going on. So I do wait a little while, and I, I have more than five friends. Uh, five associates, five family members. So I do wait a little while to share some of this stuff with y'all, but this stuff be going on for real. So let me tell y'all this. So I done figured it out. So I got a friend, got a whole bunch of stuff going on in her life. Whole bunch of stuff. I'm talking about a lot. And I told her, I said, sis, hey, Susan. I told her, I said, I'm going to share this. You know it's going to be true feels hurt. So she got a whole lot of stuff. But she loved to come talk to me about other people. So I told her, I ain't doing this gossiping stuff because I ain't got no room. I ain't got no room because I ain't got all my stuff together. See, in order for me and Reggie to be who God called us to be, we got to have our stuff together. You know what I'm saying? We got to have our stuff together, our situation, our children. You know, we got stuff we got to do. And so I'm like, honey, I got books to write. I got all this stuff. I can't be talking about these people with you. So I told her, I said, if this is what our friendship consists of, we can't really be friends because I don't have time to be talking about other people. I, I don't have time, you know? And then one thing that my mama always said, if I'm talking about somebody, then I have to, there's two things I have to consider. One, am I telling the truth? Am I lying about the people when I'm talking about them? If, if I'm lying about them, I just need to shut up all together anyway. And if I'm telling the truth about them, am I trying to come up with a solution for them? And do I, you know, have the ability to help them? And so since I ain't made these millions yet, I don't have the ability to help nobody. So I ain't got no room to talk about nobody. But anyway, so she got all this stuff going on. So she talking, 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 talking. So I'm like, well, maybe she got her stuff together. Because a lot of times she don't share everything. What she don't realize, though, is that she got people around her that share her business for her. And so I'm like, well, if she got all this kind of time to be talking about folks, then she got time to clean up her own house. I'm going to need you to go on in your own house, go on, on your own porch, and go on to clean that out first. That's how I be as a friend. So she called me last week and so she would start it off with blah 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 about this person and blah 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 so I, what i tell you about this talking about folks i ain't got no room to talk about these people with you maybe you got room then i thought about it no she ain't got no room i said let me tell you this uh such and such said this about you i said hold on just a minute let me get this person on the phone because see i don't want to be he said and she said and they said because i'm too old i'll be 46 january the 7th i'm too old to do this hey girl you heard what so and so i ain't got time for that uh high school the bell rung for that in 1991 for me and so i can't be doing that in 2018 or 17 you know what i'm saying coming up i can't be doing that so anyway, we, she going on now. So then I asked her, I said, well, listen, let me get such and such on this phone uh, because they've been talking about you while you talking about them. So we go into three-way mode. Now folks want to hang up the phone. I done told y'all don't fool with me. Don't fool with me never because I'm, I'm not going to do this no more. I feel like something, at some point, I'm supposed to outgrow this mess. You feel me? So we get on the three-way, and uh, I said, hey, uh, so-and-so, you remember when you told me that the person, the other person on the phone, uh, had this going on, this going on, whatever. So now everybody want to be quiet. Uh-uh. 
Mm-mm. No, no, no. I want y'all to talk like you've been talking. Let's talk about these people when we get through talking about y'all. Let's talk. Like, let me let you get your part out. Whatever. And y'all can call this messy or whatever. But see, let me tell you what's messy. What's messy is talking behind people back. What's messy is keep on going on and on about somebody else's business. Trust me when I tell you that life has issued us all our own set of business. Our own personal business that we can tend to. And the reason why some of y'all got time to deal with other people is because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, Bodhi. You no, know, no, no, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's how come you got time to be all over there. I don't listen. Let me tell you something, what people do. People like to talk about people, marriages, whatever. That's working for them. Get out their house. Get out their house. Get out their bedrooms. Get out their children's rooms. Get out of their mama stuff. Get out of their daddy stuff. Get out of their past. Get out of the, get, go and get out of there. Because again, you got your own set. You got your own room to clean up. Yes, I'm telling you. So when I had these two people on the two way, see, they mad at me. Now, I don't care nothing about you being mad. I don't care nothing about you being mad. See, when you was calling me, talking to me by yourself, you thought that me and you was going to be cackling and giggling together. That's what you thought. So I call the person that you want to talk about. Tell them what you feel about them and tell them what your solution is for their problem. Now we quiet. Now we, princess, this is trifling. Princess, this is you being messy. Oh, so it wasn't messy when you were stabbing them in the back. You mad because I called them so they could hear what you have to say. I also called so you could hear what they say about you. Now I'm messy. True feels hurt, foolishness. True feels hurt. I'm not doing this with y'all. I done got too old. I done got too old for this. I'm like, at some point, it's got to stop. I don't agree with all that go on. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going I'm, I'm to be honest. But Larry said, yes, preacher, I learned not to worry about people and what they say. If you worry about our issues, the world would be a better place. Yes, you got to worry about your own. I'm saying life gave you your own stuff. But I'm like, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, okay, it's some stuff I'm supposed to be doing. Ain't now one of us that's gossiping rich. We ain't got no money other than what we done got from these jobs. Ain't none of us coming up with no business plan for the future for nothing. And no, none of us have no more than the other person have, you know, like a couple of cars and a house and all that. And we over here and I'm in her house cleaning, talking about what's going on with her husband and her. Because she done, this other person done put me in that bed. And you know, all this so foolishness. I don't got too old for this stuff. Y'all know my, my patience is real short. And so what I did was, because I had told my friends a couple of times, you know, m probably more than that. I'm not going to be talking about it now. She said, Princess, I brought your business and my business to you to help. But we ain't never talk about your business. We always talked about somebody else's. We always directed the conversation somewhere else. You might have started talking to me about yours and so that I could help you because I don't mind. Because let me tell you what happens when you bring your business to me. Because God has given me a gift. If there's something I could do to help you, I'm going to help you. If there's nothing I could do to help you other than listen, shut my mouth, I'm going to do that. Then once I'm finished with the conversation, we're either going to pray about it, we're going to walk off from it. We're going to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go on with our lives. I can only help you with your stuff. I can't help you with the girl stuff down the street because she ain't called me and asked me for no help. She didn't ask me for no help. And I can't help everybody. I can only help you with all of this crap that I have gone through. I can only render my advice for things that I have gone through. And let me tell you, God has given me a share of a lot of stuff. I have dealt with a lot of stuff. But that's only so that I could do true fears hurt. That's so that I could be about his business. See what I'm saying? If you want to be minding somebody's business, mind God's business. What did he tell you to do? What? Where is he telling you to go? What is he telling you to say? But, and then why are we in our house cleaning up? I don't have the right to tell you how to clean up your house. But what I do have the right to tell you is if it is not in order and ordained by God and you're doing what he told you to do, it is going to be raggedy. And then it's going to be enticing to people to talk about. It is. It's going to be, especially if you like to be all up in front of people. 
I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. If you like to be in front of people and you like to be seen and heard and all of that stuff, then yeah, that's what people think. People think that you're inviting them into your house when you're all like that. You know what I'm saying? When you're all up in everybody else's business, people feel like that's what you want. You, you want to do this. So what I've learned to do is I tell my business myself. Uh-huh. What you got to talk about now? Ain't no juice no more. Because I done squoze, like the, like, like the little children, so I done squoze all of that. I tell you my own stuff. I tell you what I did myself. Now, I done took out the joy of you being able to spread my business because I done told it myself. See, when we live in a world where we include people, make sure you include in people that's going to give sound advice, some advice that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Some advice that could change your situation around. When uh, my friends come to me with stuff, I'm I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm going to tell them to shut up most of the time because now I got to the point where I'm noticing that silence is key. Silence, shutting up, does more than a lot of talking. Just, just be quiet and let God handle it. That's what I'm, my advice has been lately. But anyway, I love y'all. Came to y'all this morning. You're going to wish you had word about yourself. I'm telling you because while you are tending to somebody else's business, while you're in somebody else's yard, your grass is growing tall. And in a minute, it's going to be revealed. Things in your house are going to be revealed. That's why I say go worry about your, take care of your wife. Take care of your husband. Take care of your children. Take care of your job. Take care of your situation take care of god's business just do all of that because like i said life is it's just not enough y'all be great today because you woke up great you be great today don't let the nothing throw you off if it throws you off go to the throne of grace and glory mercy and talk to the lord about it if you need a friend to talk to get you one that really care about you and that won't be spreading your business all over the land if you must talk, because we all need somebody to talk to and vent to. But make sure when you're talking that you're talking about what you know about and not what you heard about.